Hello, Master Tron Tamer here. I want to show you one of my latest projects. Um, this is for my my um, Christmas holiday lights, and I want to show you what I'm doing. So, um, if you want to go back, you can reference some of my other videos. I'll put some links in there so that you can go back and look at those to see kind of how they're set up and how they work. But one of the features of my display is along one side of my house are three trees. Because of the difficulty of getting the signal out to those trees in the past, they're basically, although there's nine strings out there of 50 lights each, they're all clones of each other. Um, it's the same signal being sent to all of them. So for some time, I wanted to improve that. So I wanted to show you what I have put together here. Um, I've got three little boards that come from um, Northern Lights. I have built a custom backplane to put them in. And what it's going, what they do is they take a balanced output from the controller and then convert that signal into a normal TTL logic signal that the pixels want. Um, it works pretty straightforward. I use standard network cable. The one that's been run out to where the trees are actually has a special waterproof housing that um, screws onto here. And then um, that will bring in the signal. I'm one, I have three trees, so I've got three boards. I'm using three of the pairs, one for each board, and then the, one of them is being used for ground. The output is actually going to these null nodes I have here in the top. That's because I had used these nulls before out there and I know how long they can carry a signal. So I knew I could get the signal to the trees from there. Um, and then I'm bringing in my 12 volt DC here. So that's basically it. I did want to point out a few things. Um, this box, and I'll put a link in the description in case you want to get a hold of this, um, is watertight. There is actually a little rubber gasket that goes around it. And that gasket um, is pretty good. Now, I'm not sure I'd want to immerse this underwater, but I think it'll be okay for occasional rain. Along those same lines, this box is made out of ABS. One of the things that's nice about ABS is over here on this, on these sides, after I went ahead and put in the wiring, I was able to go ahead and take some small pieces of ABS and with regular ABS cement, um, cement those in there. So it's pretty tight. Now, like I said, there is a possibility a few drops of moisture could get in there. So the way I'm going to deal with that is before I seal it up, I'll put a couple of these packs in. And that should take care of that just in case any water creeps in there. But what we're going to end up with now is that all of those nine strings now will be individually controllable. So once I've got this all installed and I've got my display up and running for this year, I'll go ahead and shoot a little video so we can see how that all turned out. Now, a couple of other things I wanted to mention. This wouldn't be the only way we could achieve that. The people at Wasatch Pixels have got a very similar idea on a board. It takes in the... Um, regular network cable here so that means we have four pairs and then we have the dc coming in here it's even individually fused which is a really nice feature so i'll also be testing that um, but i will see how that works so um, one point i wanted to make in case you were unfamiliar for why i'm going to all this trouble with balanced outputs is because or sometimes called differential outputs, is they can carry much further, several hundred feet under the right conditions. And that's why we can use that and send the signal way out to the, the lights that way. So that's what that's for, and that's why we're doing that. Single network cable, maximum control would be um, th um, four complete 
uh, ones that you could run. All right. One other project I want to point out to you, which is going to be a little weird. So this is something I've been playing with for a while. So when they um, manufacture these pixels, they come um, on a large card, a circuit board. It's at least 10 by 10, and it may even be larger when it's in the manufacturer. Um, and then what they do is they break off these and they get soldered into the individual strings that we use. Well, I actually got a hold of some of these in their original manufactured condition, and what I've done with that is built a very compact matrix. And um, all I've done to make this work is between them, I had put in some small solder bridges to do the connectivity. I have my normal input and output connectors that I use. And then there are some jumpers that take the signal from one to the next, because there's this four strips here and it needs to go back to the other. Because I wanted to make sure I could carry enough current through here in case something should fail in the middle, I have also soldered on um, a jumper that goes from one end to the other to, gar to guarantee that the um, DC signal makes it through the board and that it can carry a little bit more current. So now if you're wondering why I've done this, I have a problem that a lot of people have with garage windows. I want to put something in my garage windows and I have four of them, but of course the garage goes up and down. So how do I manage that and not run into issues <laughs> with wiring? Well, this is my experiment and it's, it's a straight up experiment. I don't know how it's going to turn out. What I'm going to do is take these small matrices that, as you know, they're very bright. I'm going to use them as a light source for some custom projectors I'm going to design to send their image onto the windows. I can place those projectors farther back from um, the door and that should work. But like I said, I'm a little worried about how I'm going to get that focused. I'm also a little bit worried about the brightness levels. But that's what makes it a fun experiment. So um, I'll um, report back to you and let you know how that turned out. Um, if anybody wants any more information on how I built these, maybe I'll do a, a, a video on that if I see some interest in the comments. Um, and we'll be able to see how those um, work. I'll like normal, I'll put links um, below with um, where you can get the various components so that you don't have to hunt around to find them. All right, um, I think that takes care of it for this session. So I hope you found this useful.